Hi friends, today's short video will be about uh, the replacement or clean, clean up of the intercooler which has a crucial impact on the fuel consumption on Lupo 3L and basically on, on every car. So I have already installed my overhauled alternator. The bearings are SKF. Uh, for designed for a lower con fuel consumption it's pretty expensive but it's worth it just because they are uh, high quality the voltage regulator is uh, aftermarket one in this case and uh, the voltage regulator is made in England it is printed in on it it's hard to uh, tell uh, which uh, branding, which brand uh, uh, has its mark on, on that. But basically uh, these voltage regulators are uh, SMD, uh, which means that uh, surface mount, mount devices, which means that they should be, but I'm not sure about it exactly, they should be more reliable and more resistant to the environment. You can see the voltage regulator is just here and and it gets all the dirt, all the mess from the from the front of the vehicle in, in the winter. So so uh, its replacement is recommended. Also the the idler pulley is replaced now and I have lubricated uh, the bearing of this uh, of this uh, tensioner just because it's pretty expensive and uh, and uh, I have never seen worn bearing in it it's basically uh, noisy just because uh, of the lack of the lubricant inside the bearing so it is it is uh, simply to it is simple to disassemble it completely open the bearing uh, flush it with the petrol completely and uh, add the new uh, grease into it so why this clean up basically this flange right in here goes weak with the mileage and, and another another uh, and the tension of the of the hose which is clamped in here so it is you can see uh, that it, it's moving a bit even though there is a ceiling ring I'm not sure about my focus capabilities of my of my camera but it doesn't matter basically you can see that there is there is a gap even though their their bolt these bolts are tightened properly there is a problem with the leak of the oil and the oil spills out right to the front of the intercooler and if you imagine that there is there is this reinforcement, bumper reinforcement, steel bar about this big and uh, and th th there is some type of, uh, some type of, uh, I don't know exactly uh, the, how to call it, but, uh, but a, p a plastic part which, which directs the air into the intercooler. I strongly recommend it is basically not to need to buy the new one. You can uh, apply some some sea gasket sealant in here, and hopefully it will be okay. You can see that it, it's it's original one. Production 2002. So uh, basically, uh, you need to completely clean this with the petrol multiple times from the this from this direction and from the opposite also so you will be able to see through you can see it's possible almost to see through there are something some oxidation around here there is some I'm sorry 
and uh, basically this creates some obstacle so I have carefully for probably it took two hours to straighten these these uh, I don't know how to call it this meander this man meander to straighten it to be all at, as much as possible transparent to the other side and uh, I think this is very important just because power of the car you can imagine the spill of oil right in here and this is completely blocked from the dust from the road mixed with that uh, with that uh, shit oh, I'm sorry <laughs> uh, so basically the intercooling does not does not maintain its function so strongly recommend to clean up old one straighten these these ducts or no not the ducts but you know what it's basically aluminium so so it's prone to prone to oxidize probably if you purchase the the new one or if you clean up and the degrees like this uh, probably it will be helpful to spray it with the spray paint some kind of uh, aluminium coating something to prevent this oxidation and fallout To disassemble it or, or to remove it, sometimes it's a bit hard just because I have now mirrored automatically. You can see that there are screws one around here, it's visible from here badly, but it is here from the opposite side. Here and the third one is uh, from the bottom, so just in here, basically, around in behind this. So, uh, I also recommend uh, to use um, uh, the screw clamps or bolt bolted clamps on these hoses just because uh, in this particular spot it's very hard to very hard to remove the original clamp basically it's rusty and, and uh, sometimes it it just felt apart so I think that this will this can cause the increase of the fuel consumption at about dozens of percent probably it was completely, completely clogged, like maybe here it was clear, but down there, but, but all, the, all it was completely clear. Even though I tried to push the pressure washer around from, the, from here, it did not affect it almost nothing. It didn't clean almost nothing from, nothing from here and it didn't clean uh, almost nothing from inside, so so make it properly by the petrol and I must now wait for the for the gasket sealing gasket sealer drying process you can see it's not perfect but Hopefully it will be it will be sealing the oil which comes from the turbocharger. It's good to uh, remove these bolts and make it a little bit more accessible by removing this stuff in here and and uh, also I have installed uh, the previous alternator was uh, 140 amps so 
I just decided to use 90 amps even though there is uh, air conditioning doesn't matter to me just because uh, 120 and 140 amps is pretty bigger it's all it you know, those two are the same big and uh, and it's just nearly impossible to re remove the alternator from the car when this is this is completely assembled so you can see I, I have released the engine and put, I have put, and put my engine a little bit a little bit rear so probably this is for today or for today hope it will be helpful for you uh, almost I recommend uh, with, the, with, with the alternator I, I strongly recommend to replace uh, thermostat each and every time for the Febi Bilstein one on or some reliable brand just because uh, these bolts are not accessible easily when it, it's almost inaccessible with the alternator installed so, so I have you can see I, I'm making notes on each part I fix just because uh, I have uh, more cars and more three lupos and uh, I just need to know when I'm repairing something and fi or fixing something I just need to know what, which part is okay and which should be checked so Probably everything for today. Enjoy driving your loopholes and see you next time.